Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to estimate the factor of safety using FLAC 2D version 9.163. So when you open FLAC 2D, you're going to have this small window here. Click on your project and then save your uh, container or your main FLAC 2D in uh, any location you want. So I saved the container. Now let's sketch our model. Go to this and uh, this arrow here and choose new, and then sketch set and name it any name. Click OK. So now we are here and sketch set slope one go to slope wizard in this training in this tutorial i'm going to use the slope wizard for the raise add 10 and keep the slope as 45 run 10 depth 10 left 10 right 10 click ok and now we created our sketch i want it I want to delete this one by just selecting it by in the left, uh, left click on the mouse, click delete. Same thing here. Select it and click delete. Now we have only one type of material for the entire model. Go to mesh tool, click on auto size, and let's choose. So the default. The zoom length for the fine, uh, finite difference is 1 unit. I want to make it 0.5. Click OK. So now we see uh, we, ha we have a finer mesh. Now let's create mesh for all polygon. And that's it. We created our mesh. Now we need to create zone, so we click create on click on create zones, and we created our zones. Click again here, and now we need to assign the constitutive model. We're gonna use a basic more column and assign it for this zone. So we selected the zoom first and then we went to assign constitutive model. It's going to take a few seconds. So now we assign the constitutive model. Now we go again here and click on set model property. We already assigned the constitutive model, but we need to assign the material property so click on it under more column we assign the density to 2000 young 8 poisson 2.3 cohesion friction 220 dilution 20 and tension 10 Click on save. So now we assigned the property to this zone. Now we click on assign group names to face automatically. And activate this option and activate this option and assign group. Now you can see here we have bottom in red, in red color, east and green, top in cyan color and west in magenta color now we're gonna save project click yes and under this container i'm gonna just call it slope one so this is where we save it okay now we go to the this arrow here and choose new and data file and let's name it slope one 
So now we are here. We are in the data file. Okay. So let's zoom in and start writing model restore probe one. So we are installing this save file here, which we created the geometry. And then we're gonna uh, assign the boundary conditions. Zone phase apply velocity in x equal to zero range west or east. So both east and west boundary condition uh, have ruler. So we are uh, applying velocity of x equal to zero. Okay, and then same thing at the bottom. And now we're gonna assign gravity. We can add minus or we can just leave it as it is. It, it will understand as a minus to the down, uh, uh, down direction. Down, uh, so it's gonna be 10 and positive, but it's gonna be downward. And then model large strain of and model factor of safety. And that's it. It should uh, calculate the factor of safety. And click on execute. And now it's running. Uh, there it is. This is our factor of safety. Let's see how we can plot that and show it. Uh, you can see here 1.04. This is the factor of safety. So go to this arrow, new, and I'm creating plot to show the maximum shear strain. And let's see, factor of safety. So now we are here, see? Click on this arrow, small arrow, and choose zone. And then click on label and choose contour. I don't want displacement, so I choose... Um, Strain rate, and I don't want constant, I want the contour to be volumetric averaging. So now we can see the slip surface, and I want to show the maximum shear strain as quantity. And here it is. So I want to show at, at this plot the factor of safety. I go to this plus symbol here i click on it and i go to uh factor of safety where it is here we go factor of safety click on it and then choose okay and here we here we go factor of safety 1.04 if you want to show on the top of that the vectors you can just click on here again and show the vectors so you see how now we are showing the factor of safety the shear strain zone displacement vector all at the same plot or same figure if for example if i don't want to show the uh, the vectors i just click on it and click on delete if I want to change the arrow shape or uh, the scale or anything, I just can come here and change and play with these uh, with these parameters here. Okay. 
he delete the factors and just a factor of safety I can name it as I want here available factor is not available value okay I can cha change anything I want here you can change the color if you want factor of safety red can change it here since this is the most important thing I think we should color it with color or red color so if I want to go back and see my steps as a, a code I can go to state record and here it is I can right click on it and save to file data file so it will be saved in this section uh, let's call it geo geometry save if I want to add it I just go file and then import geometry and this is the code which is recorded by flag 2d so this is the geometry this is the for example if I want finer mesh I can decrease this number here here is the property here is the recalling of this file if I want to go back to after this step which is slow bone number one I just I just click here and they see where I assigned uh, the boundary conditions the gravity and turning off the larger strain and estimate the factor of safety and that's it thank you for watching